To create this design, you need to add a cylinder and I will go with a 32 watt cylinder. Then rotate the cylinder into 90 degree and scale it along the Y axis. Apply the scale and apply the rotation. Then you need to add one more cylinder and this time I will go with a 16 watt cylinder. Scale down the cylinder in this way. Then go to the rate mode, turn on the X-ray mode. Select this words and right click connect vertex pair. Then select this H loop and Ctrl B add bevel on it. Add center loop cut here. Then select this words and move them along the X axis. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize. Take the symmetry along the X axis. Then move the cylinder along the Z axis and then scale it down in this way. Adjust the position and try to match these vertical edges to horizontal edges. Then select these two objects and shift Q use the boolean operation union. Then apply the boolean modifier and delete this cutter object. Then select this edge and snap 3D cursor to it. Then select these faces. Change the transform pivot point to 3D cursor and then S, Z and give the value 0. Then select everything, press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Then take the symmetry along the X axis and Y axis and delete one third of the model in this way. Now we need to create right topology here. Select these faces and then use the insert operation and press P to avoid the border. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of straight cut. Then select these words and merge them at last in this way. Then select these words and merge them at last. Then add one loop cut like this. Dissolve this H. Select this H loop and S, Z give the value 0 and move it along the Z axis in this way. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of cut. We will get this kind of loop structure. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of cut. Then adjust the position of the words to maintain the E1 space in between the H loops. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of cut. Then select these words and adjust their position. Dissolve this H. Select these words and merge at last in this way. So you will get this kind of loop structure at there. Then add one loop cut here. Then select this H loop and Ctrl B add bevel on it. Add a two segment bevel and shape factor should be one. Select this H loop, Ctrl B add bevel on it. Add one segment bevel and then add loop cuts like this. Select this space, use the insert operation and delete the face. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry. Select this word and snap 3D cursor to it and then shift A, mesh, add a cylinder and then add 16 word cylinder and scale it down in this way. Then select these two objects and shift to use the boolean operation difference and then apply this boolean modifier and delete this cutter object. Select these faces and control X to dissolve them. Then select this face, use the insert operation and E to extrude it and move it along this the axis. Then use the insert operation and delete the face. Select this H loop and then go to the face, grid fill and adjust the offset. Select this H loop and control B add bevel on it. Select this H loops and add bevel on them. Select these faces and delete them. Select this H and press F to fill the gap. Then use the knife tool and create this kind of cuts. And create one cut like this and connect it. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry. Then select this H loop and face grid fill. Check this simple blending and adjust the offset. And then hit the control tool and add the sub-D modifier and shade smooth it. You can select these faces 
Use the insert operations, scale down the spaces and control X to dissolve them. Then take the symmetry, select this edge loop, right click breach faces. Then select this edge loops and control B add bevel on them. Then select this edge loops and control B add bevel on them. And then take the symmetry. Add one loop cut here, one loop cut here. And there you go. You will get this kind of design. You can see the form. And you can see the topology. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See so next video. Take care.